Day two here at TraderCon 2023 in beautiful Wichita, Kansas. That is the show floor down below. We're going to go down there, talk with some pretty cool companies, check out some pretty neat products. We'll meet you down there. Let's go. All right, going to take a look at some cool over-unders. Uh, Spandau, I guess, Spandex. Mm -hmm. Spandau. Does it, say, does it say juicy on them somewhere? No, okay. only on the back end. Okay. <laughs> So uh, what about uh, what about these? Because I haven't seen these. I don't think it's fairly new, right? We're fairly new. So we launched Spandau at Shot Show this year. So yeah. we're new on the market. Uh, but the Turks have been making over unders for a really long time. They, they really know yeah. what they're doing. I know quite a few years ago. I know we were we were talking about that. I think yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, youngest daughter and I kind of got into shotgunning, youth shooting sports stuff, and all that. We were looking at over unders, mm -hmm. and we couldn't really find any that were made in the u.s hardly at all yeah. that wasn't 15 20 25 thousand dollars yeah you're getting pretty up there with and, that hand work. and the vast majority even the ones made overseas were made in turkey yeah so like it's just a thing yeah they really know what they're doing they've dialed it in a lot of the hand entries and stuff that go in the side of these things is uh really bumps the price up on a lot of those yeah yeah but i think y'all's price points uh compared to some of the big name brands yeah. anyway uh, pretty good. Y'all got a few different models. I, I really am excited about the field models. Yeah. So we've got the uh, Spandau Premier Field. It comes from 12 gauge, 20 gauge, 28, 410. And we've got a plethora of all the different barrel lengths for all the different gauges. Right. Uh, really great to get out in the field, light guns, take your kids, you know, turkey hunting, whatever you want to get into. Right. Yeah. And 28 is my favorite for Doug, yeah. without a doubt. I guess that's. Was that the 28 or was it this one? 28 right here on the bottom. The bottom. Then we got the 410. Really similar profile yep. and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then we kind of get up into the sporting stuff. Yep. Track and skeet. So we've got the target models. We've got the new uh, Spandau regular target. And then we've got the premier target, which comes with the case hardened finish, both with adjustable combs, both with the uh, palm swell on the on the handguard or on the grip there, butt stock. Yes. That one feels like it might be a little bit heavier. A little heftier. Probably just because of the receiver, because of mm -hmm. the wood. And this one right here, you were telling me yesterday, uh, they spent a lot of time hand yes. working this particular yeah, so model. The premier so field, that's the difference in cost, right? Yes. So your premier field is definitely hand fit, a little bit more gunsmithing going into it, and the premier field okay. hand target. So nice. Very cool. They definitely we can only get a few of these every month, so keeping the numbers down a little bit but uh and you were telling me too them. that in the testing you guys had which one was it was it all of them or uh, whatever you had out this one's our newest one so over the last couple months we took a range trip to uh the skeet range and there in our local knoxville yeah. area we put seven seven cases of rounds through that <laughs> in one single day wow there was about three to four of us shooting it we shot it so much that the barrel or the handguard nut got so hot we was putting blisters on our hand. That's bad when the wood hand yeah. gets so hot you can't hold on to it. But Good we wanted not. to make sure it was gonna test, stand up to everything we can throw at it and then it can. So it's yeah. always gonna be able to go throw two rounds every couple yeah. you know, slings. And one of the things, whether you're talking about the the, the really oh. nice one or the other one is the, the indicator on, you know, switching the barrel. That's a thing back here where you, you know, switch those barrels, whichever one fires first. Yeah, so you can um, switch it to where if you want to go to the bottom barrel or the top barrel first yeah. with the trigger pull. But the markings, like yeah. the ones I've owned and I've seen have no yeah. markings. Yeah. And what is it this one that's got the... Yeah, this one's got the, you know, red's going to fire first. Right. And then the white's going to fire first. Right. With the Premier, you have the, just the O and the U. So you're going to go with the overshot or well, the that's under. That's the one with the OU that I thought was mm -hmm. really neat. Yeah. Yeah. So you got the OU, and then that one we went with the docks. But it's nice to have those markings because, like I said, the ones I've seen, it's yeah. just a guess. You set it, yeah. you pull the trigger, it, you open it, it, you go, "Oh, okay, that shot shoots the top." You know. So it's really cool. Yeah. I think even on our fields, we've got the same thing on on the smaller one. Marked really well. Yeah, that's awesome. So uh, yeah, you know me and over under. Super excited <laughs> to take a look at these. Thanks for showing us. Yeah. Anytime. Appreciate it. Have so uh, that's going to do it for uh, this one. Till next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom. Bye.